I want you to listen at Simon's request. Verse 28. Y'all see it? Listen at Simon's request. Lord, if it's you, bid me to come unto you on the water. Man, I'm feeling Pete right along through here. Because watch now. He says, Lord, if it is you, I believe it is. I hear you. But if it's you, give me permission to come unto you walking on the water. Now, some folk, when they read that, they think that Pete, was trying to walk on the water to show off. He wasn't studying Judas and Thomas and Matthew and Lebeus and Thaddeus and, and James and John and Nathaniel and Thomas. He wasn't studying them. Watch the text again. Verse 28, he says, Lord, if it's you, bid me to come unto you walking on the water in other words I know a storm is going on I know the lightning is flashing and the wind is blowing and I know you're in the water but I'd rather be where you are in a storm than to be without you in a ship I'd rather be with you in the lake than to be without you on the land. And I wonder, do I have some witnesses here who can say, I know a storm is going on and I know Jesus is on the sea, but I'd rather be with him in the midst of a storm than to be without him in the sun. Watch him, Bishop Hall. He says, if it's you, let me come to where you are. And I'm not asking you to let me swim. I ain't trying to float. But I want to get out there and come to you walking on the water. This is an audacious request. I like Peter because he has nerve. He has gall. The essence of taking a step of faith is not for you to be different. But the essence of taking a step of faith is for you to have a different experience that those who believe in playing it safe will never have. Come here, come here. Come closer. There were 12 boys in the boat. But only one stepped out of the boat. Peter said, I want to do it, but I ain't going to do it until I get permission. Where were the other boys? And I could hear them in the boat. Do y'all hear them? Pete's getting ready to step out. He's got his foot on the side. And I hear Judas, Pete. I hear Thomas, Pete. Don't do it, man. Are you sure the Lord told you to do that? We may have some Judases and some Thomases in here tonight because folk will always question what the Lord told you to do it. But touch your name and tell him if he told you to do it, you go on and do it. I don't care how stupid it seems. Sometimes God will tell you to do some seemingly stupid stuff. But I want to tell you, if he commands it, he'll give you the power to complete it. Sometimes the biggest challenge to us stepping out of the boat are sometimes the doubters and sometimes the haters that's in our boat with us. 
wait a minute, wait a minute. They ain't bad people. They're not bad people, but they are people who are missing an awesome opportunity to step into everything that God wants them to step into. I ought to have some witnesses here who can say, I want to be like Simon Peter. I don't want to miss my water walking moment. I don't want to miss anything that God has in store for me because I believe that what he has for me, it is for me. And if I have to do something that nobody else has done before, I'll do it because I'm not missing my moment.